They didn't even need a warranty. Hi everyone, I'm Jacob, I'm the Cowhat Librarian, and this one was a treat. I've talked about this duo before and how much I love their work together. They collaborated on the incredible book Drawn Together, and this is another one by Min Lee and Dan Santat, and it is Built to Last. As the story starts, <clears throat> Two kids bump into each other and end up becoming friends. And soon after, they build all sorts of things together. And every time things get wrecked, they start over and they build it up again. And it's wonderful and fantastic and they're great friends. Until one day they aren't. Because things get broken in a worse way than they thought it would. And they're not sure it can be put back together this time. But in the course of things, they realize that some things are too important to give up on. And that if they try really hard, They can rebuild it. This was great. When I read about it, I was expecting a story about friendship and building with blocks and or Lego bricks, and that it would be fun because it's by Minley and Dan Santet, and I knew that that was going to be another great combination of those two. And it, it hit me hard. It was great. The story, the text, the pictures are all about the building and building together and things being broken and rebuilding and so on. And that let these two amazing creators just slide into the story a whole thing about the nature of friendship. It's subtle. It was so well done, but it was still obvious enough that my nine and soon to be seven year old daughters got it. When I was reading it to them, I asked what they thought the story was about. They both chimed in, well, friendship. They got it. There wasn't a single word talking about their friendship breaking up. There wasn't a single thing about them being friends again. It was all done through the illustrations and the looks and the words that were ostensibly about the creations they made but meant so much more. Um, Min Lee and Dan Santat, they're, and I use this analogy a lot, but they are the, hey, you got my chocolate in your peanut butter of picture books. They're one of those rare duos, like um, John Clausen and Mac Barnett, for example, where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Individually, Min Lee and Dan Santat are phenomenal creators. I loved the graphic novels that they both did, the semi-biographical ones. Enlighten Me that Min Lee did about attending a Buddhist retreat. And Dan Santat's, I'm blanking on the title right now, but I will show it in the video, about his trip to Europe when he was younger. And they were both great, great, great stories. And the two of them working together, it's just, it's one notch higher. It's so great. Now, I, I've already spoiled it because it's a picture book and you need to know what's going on. But I do have to talk about the deal breaker. The deal breaker is simply this. While reading it, I wondered if it was a story about Lee and Santap and their relationship. Whether this is an autobiographical picture book about their working relationship. 
because they've worked together in the past. They've made some amazing collaborations and those autobiographical graphic novels I mentioned a moment ago, they didn't work together on those. Min Lee had a completely different artist work with him who, who did a fair job, no question about it. And Dan Santat was off doing his story and it, it made me wonder if maybe there was conflict between the two of them because they were both doing similar sorts of stories, both doing autobiographical graphic novels. And if that made it so that Santat either couldn't or wouldn't do the illustrations for Lee's graphic novel. I'm spitballing. I, I have no idea what's going on here. I hope that wasn't the case. But if it was, it is encouraging to know that they've patched things up and that they're collaborating again. Because this, this was another winner by two incredibly talented individuals. I wholeheartedly recommend it. If you liked things like Drawn Together, even though the, the story elements are different, it's a Lee Santa collaboration. If you like that, you'll like this. If you like other stories about friendship, maybe in a weird way, the rock that fell from the sky might be an interesting one to follow up with this. Um, in, in another weird way, maybe one of Jeremy Tankard's bird books, maybe Boohoo Bird or Hungry Bird, might be a fun one to read after this or beforehand. There, there are a lot of good books about friendship, and this one serves as a great follow-up to any of them. Go buy it, or go borrow it from your local public library. Well, I'm on that topic. If you use and appreciate the services offered by your public library, why not take just one minute and tell the powers that be exactly that? Tell your mayor, tell a council member, tell your MP or MLA that you use and appreciate the services offered by your public library. We're at a time where some public libraries are having trouble finding sustainable funding to continue improving the materials, programs, and services they offer. And a few good words in the right ears might make a world of difference. If by some chance you're a library staff member, don't forget, watching my videos counts as professional development time. With that, thank you for listening to me gush about this wonderful yet again collaboration by all means, please like, please subscribe, and please check back to see what else I have to talk about from the Cowhat Library. Thank you. Bye now.